So welcome to the 2022 Woodlander Virtual Stallion Catalogue. I'm pleased to see that both Helgstrand and Schockermuller have copied us in this whole process of not risking organising a stallion show or a stallion event in case nobody can come. And I think we're all very happy to be slowly coming out the other side of what's been an historically difficult couple of years. But we haven't been idle. And in the last 12 months, we have been very happy to see the development of our young horses and have enjoyed some brand new clients and their young horses. And today, we've put together a number of video clips of the stallions that will be standing at stud this year. And of course, there's something for everyone, but in common to all of them is Woodlander temperament. Whether you're a professional rider who wants a hot horse or an amateur rider who wants a safe but talented horse, what you all want is a horse that will work with you, that is generous and forgiving and tries and really does his best. And I think as we've done the video over the last years and we come to today, I'm sure that we're going to see on this video the very good examples of what Woodlander breeding is all about. Please feel free to call me and talk to me about your mares. We have a wide selection of stallions this year, as well as frozen semen. And we want you to be the most successful breeders for what you want. So to help you focus on whether you're breeding to sell a foal, something for yourself to ride, something to target at professional riders, we can help you make the best choices from our stallions. Of course, they're not the only stallions, but of course you can see them. You can touch them, you can visit them, and you can quite often see the rest of their family, their mothers, their brothers, their sisters, etc. So enjoy Woodlander Stallions 2022. So this is a very babyish Woodlander wildfire. So as we watch him, just remember that he's a rising three-year-old. So we're not doing very much. We're a bit wobbly, but you can see what a fantastic temperament this horse has. This is the first time he's been here and he's been off the lorry now for about 10 minutes. He's licensed with the Warm Blood Breeders Stud Book UK and we will go for an Anna Kennel with Oldenburg and he will do a performance test. When you look at him, you wouldn't think that he's 17 hands because he looks very tidy, because he's very harmonious. His Danish mother line, so his mother, Domani, was by the stallion Uno Don Diego from the breeders of Una Don Unique, who won the World Breeding Championships. And then Domani's mother goes back to the Danish stallion Michelino. I see in the elasticity and the natural balance, I see everything for the highest level and it comes with great rideability. He has very attractive, active front legs and he naturally carries behind. Everything about him is going forward. He thinks forward and he goes forward and supple through the body. Look at this amazing canter for a three-year-old. I mean, really, I think Carsten's doing a work of genius, but nevertheless, it's pretty impressive. Temperament, temperament, temperament. Everything that you get from Wild Child, everything that you get from Vava Voom. So you have three generations of generosity. I think we can see a horse here with a super closed walk. Nice natural swing. I mean, he's a bit nonplussed by everything. Here we have the baby with no clothes on. He's a close coupled horse, lovely long with a big shoulder, uh, nice croup. As you can see, nice pastons, decent length, not soft. 
and his really nice face, he will pass on that wonderful heritage of Vavahum and Wild Child and now Wild Fire. Bred by Helen Marchant and stolen by me as a foal. So very happy. So this is Woodlander's Sequoia, bred at Woodlander Stud. He's by the modern phenomenon, I guess. Um, Secret has been just a crazy hit in Germany. He's obviously a son of the triple world champion Setswan and out of a San Moritz mother. And actually, we bred a wonderful stallion, Woodlander Wicked Game, out of the full sister to the mother of Secret. So we were a bit convinced that this was a horse and a stallion to try in our breeding. And we bred him to a beautiful Imperio Ravel Sacramento stop song mare, who was actually the half-sister to our legendary Katinka. And that means that the mother of this stallion is closely related, and so therefore is this stallion to the Grand Prix mare Woodlander Donna Summer. If we talk a little bit about the pedigree, I mean, Secret has been a big success in Germany, not just as a breeding stallion, but also in competition. And I think, much like his father, shows enormous rideability. Imperio, who is the sire of the mother of Sequoia, was twice reserve at the World Young Horse Championships for dressage and of course went on to be on the German A-team with Hubertus Schmidt. And then behind that, we have the Trochaner stallion, Ravel. So strong Trochaner, pure Trochaner mother line, and then this beautiful top line with the triple world champion sets one and this wonder horse, Secret. And although he's a very big horse, as you can see, we gave him time to mature. We didn't rush to ride him at three. He had a covering season and then we turned him away and he went and hacked around the farm for three or four months and has been with Luis Principe ahead of this video for only about four weeks. Um, so understanding to do other than hack around has been quite a new experience for him. And we are really excited about him for both the big arena at Grand Prix in the longer term and for young horse classes. I adore this horse, and I just constantly feel blessed by the horses that we breed, because you know them, you can trust them, you know everything in their pedigree, and you as a breeder, that matters to you. So I'm not a rider, I am just a breeder. So I have to think, what do my breeders need? And I think everybody needs a little bit of this one. Sensionale from Orbit Performance. Nikki Heath and Les bred this wonderful son of So Unique. I mean, Carsten makes him look quite small, but he's nearly 16-1 now. He has a really lovely pedigree. So Unique, and then the mother is by Silbermond, who's the son of the reserve world champion, Sir Donahal. And behind that comes other convincing thoroughbred blood in Vilavanda, who was a thoroughbred licensed into the Hanoverian Stallion book. And this is a really modern, up-to-date pedigree. And you can see a really lovely, young, compact, athletic horse with a talent for both dressage and I think potentially eventing with his thoroughbred blood. And he's got lots of energy. And look at this canter. I mean, what balance in a canter on a three-year-old. I think he finds concentrating on dressage and being a little more, what can I say, under control is something that doesn't come naturally to him, but his rideability is lovely. Even though he's a close coupled horse, his elasticity comes more and more as he's trained. And you can see now suppleness through his body and a lovely regularity in his trot. 
and we have to remember he's only rising three. So, you know, again, he's only been ridden loose for about six weeks and he's ridden just two to three times a week and then he's out in the field and on the walker. And the temperament of this horse coming today to this completely unknown venue and riding around these white boards and just behaving really like a dream. Sensionale, a compact, super balanced horse. He's quite short coupled, he's only three, and he's already over 16 hands. And he's pretty typical, I think, in a lot of things of his sire, So Unique, who was the four-year-old world champion. I think from a confirmational point of view, you wouldn't want to necessarily put him on short coupled mares. He has a really nice type, a strong neck. He's able very easily to move and be supple through his body because he carries very well on his hind leg. It's a really lovely and athletic horse. Sensionale. So this is Woodlander Grand Designs. He belongs to Sylvia Tainton. He was bred at Woodlander and he's by the lovely stallion Grand Galaxy Win. So he is a perfect combination of Dutch and German blood. His pedigree, Grand Galaxy Win, Florencio, a double world champion, Sao Paulo, who basically comes from Holstein, and of course, the whole of the S. Sandro hit line is actually based on jumping horses. And then comes Lantan, also a jumping horse. Very special Woodlander family. Already from the mother line, we have bred four licensed stallions of whom Grand Designs is one. As you can see, he's a really beautiful model, wonderful neck, pretty face, and just a nice size for every rider. He's from the family of Woodlander Rockstar, a horse who went Grand Prix with Maria Eilberg, and also Vesuvio by Valentino out of the Sao Paulo grandmother of this horse. And he is a hard-wearing event horse who actually won Tattersalls as a 16-year-old, I believe, which was quite a nice achievement. And then in more recent times, we have the stallion Wedgwood, bought by Jan Greve at the auction in Oldenburg as a licensed stallion. And he won the eventing championships for five-year-olds in Sweden. And then lastly, Grand Designs, who was licensed for Hanover, and he has still to do his performance test. And you can see what an extremely obliging and rideable horse this is. And Carsten can just sit on him and be supple with the hand, and the horse carries the rider. And this horse is a little bit behind in his work. He was sent to Germany for his performance test and unfortunately had an injury in the journey across, so wasn't able to do the test last time. This is a naked Grand Designs. As you can see, a really beautiful horse with long lines, wonderful top line and correct limbs and really importantly, such a beautiful face. For those of you breeding to sell foals, he made, I think, one of our best foals last year at Woodlander and it had just the prettiest face. I really like his fetlocks. He's got a good long wither reaching into the back. Given that he's missed a bit of work with breeding and, and the injury, I think he could have a little more muscle over his back, but I think the proportions of the horse are absolutely perfect. He's a rectangle, he's in thirds, he's got a well-set neck with the base of the neck coming out above the point of the shoulder, and he's clean through the throat lash. The best of Dutch dressage breeding and a top, top mare line that has delivered four wonderful stallions. Woodlander Franz Ferdinand, a pillar of Woodlander breeding, and now with a count of wonderful young horses 
from his breeding seasons both in Germany and in the UK. He is a beautiful modern horse with everything one could want, a body with scope and length, long legs, a refined and well set on head and neck, and a charming personality, as well as great rideability. We're really excited to see his first UK children out under saddle, which should be in the next year or so. We're also happy to be expecting offspring from him at Woodlander Stud. And the good news this year is that from now, his children are eligible, subject to their mares, mothers being graded for Hanoverian papers. We are so happy. He had a checkered career. He obviously had an injury during his performance test as a three-year-old, and that has stopped his competition in the sport, which is a great shame. But this is made up for by the provenance of his family. His sister is the double world champion and still the points uh, record holder, Woodlander Farouche. His mother, charmed crowds in the UK at several national championships where she took the crown as well as being the top six-year-old in the country. His father, first Heinrich, was a world champion and a sensation. And his mother, father, DiMaggio, again, was a flagship stallion for the UK, competing with Suzanne Lavandera in Ferden in that hotly competed world championship arena. So Franz Ferdinand, everything that you could wish for in a modern sport horse. Woodlander Freddie M. Very nice to see him at stud again, because Freddie has been having a very exciting career in Germany, where he's been successful in the dressage arena with young riders and competed up to advanced. Sadly, contracted an injury when he was sold and we had him back and we've given him a year off, which will hopefully allow him to continue in the sport later on. He's by the stallion for compliment. For compliment was by another remarkable stallion, Fiedemark, who we see popping up again now in some of the young horses. He was a Westphalian stallion and one of the most expressive and elastic stallions that I can remember. And I absolutely adored the horse. The mother line of Freddie M is a sort of specialist subject for Woodlander Stud. DiMaggio, Caprimon, De Clou. Westphalian breeding, Trichena breeding, Hanoverian breeding. A world champion in DiMaggio, a half-sister, so he's a, he's a half-brother to Woodlander Farouche. And then, of course, now he is also a half-brother to this wonderful new stallion for Kingdom, bred by us at Woodlander and licensed in Oldenburg in 2020. And this young horse just absolutely convinced at his four-year-old stallion sport test. He's got this beautiful face, beautiful head and neck, and it's an expression of his character, which is totally sweet. But he's certainly a horse that can work to small tour, and he was with Luis Principe, and Luis trained him through all the PSG movements. He's got a wonderful canter, a really good canter. He's always had that from a three-year-old and a good walk. So Freddie M is available, very beautiful, and his daughter from his first crop of foals, Woodlander Fashion, 
was the top six-year-old in the equine bridge, and that was despite having a late start. We sold her as a foal, and she didn't really start her ridden career till she was nearly five. So I think from a limited number of coverings, he's produced for us some really beautiful horses. If you've got a mare where you want some outstanding temperament, then Freddie should be your pick. Woodlander Double Bubble. He's at stud for 2022. We're giving him a little bit of time off. We were very happy to see him as a seven-year-old gaining good scores, and in fact, over 70% at PSG, which we think is quite precocious. He has also shown us a real talent for Grand Prix, the, the special movements of Piaf and Passage. So he's at stud and he will be at Stallion AI from April and available for chilled semen and fresh semen if you're over the road at Twemlow's Hall stud. With a pedigree with Don Frederick, written by Holger Finken, who has been a successful international high-level horse, and then behind the very, very interesting stallion Russo that we've probably all forgotten now with the glitterati of Dutch breeding over the last few years. But Russo is in the back pedigree of so many of the best stallions. And we like to think that he contributes that to Double Bubble. And then behind come the Hanoverian stalwarts of Alabaster and Veltmeyer, giving you this powerful rounded frame and the great strength that Double Bubble shows. He turned a corner at two and showed us the power and scope of his gates, in particular his canter, which was enormous. The Hanoverian judges selected him as a licensed stallion. They did so because of what they saw in his power, his paces and his sporting provenance. He is now life approved for Hanover and for Oldenburg. So enjoy him for 2022. We don't imagine he'll be at stud again for chilled semen for some time. And he will continue in the sport after the stud season. So here is the lovely classic Chico. I can't tell you how interesting this pedigree is. His father, Classic Sharma, is a top German riding pony and very much a competition horse and a successful dressage pony and with really good European connections. And then on the bottom line, we have this tremendous horse line of Blue Horse Cavan crossed with Sandro Hitt. And Really, that's an outstanding dressage pedigree. I once remember looking at the Olympics, I think in Beijing, and in the final of the dressage, there were five or six offspring with Blue Horse Cavan in their pedigree. Maybe not the final, but the last 15. So he was by the Stallion Cavalier, not the Irish one, the warm blood one and just super rideability, wonderful performance. And you can see this in this little horse here. He's at just around 15.2. So ideal for somebody who wants to breed either a more competition orientated pony. So I would say he'd be very nice on a Welsh or for somebody who wants to put him on a horse with his 50% horse pedigree to give themselves a nice small-ish riding horse, but it's not going to be really tiny. And I think if you want to breed a pony, you need to breed with a pure pony. And I wouldn't breed him with a cross pony unless you don't mind that it's not a pony. So I can't say how lovely his temperament is.
Now you have seen that he was ridden today for the first time in this space by Anna, one of the young girls who helps us on the yard. She has ridden him twice. Carsten has trained him, his owner has ridden him and really enjoyed and made a very nice picture. I think Anna did a brilliant job in this small space because I think Carsten would somewhat overpower him in the picture. Generous eye, kind, lovely person, super nice confirmation and a really fascinating pedigree for competition. Woodlander Wildchild. He is the son of Woodlander Farouche by just the sweetest, kindest, most obliging stallion, Vavavoom. He's all homemade. So Vavavoom was my very first licensed stallion in Ferden um, at two and a half years old. And he came from probably our most convincing long-term mare family, which started with the mare Davina and has gone on with her daughters, Louisiana, for your love and their daughters. And Vavavoom came from this old Westphalian breeding line and has not disappointed. And he himself made two licensed sons in Woodland of Wales, who was a sensation. And of course, the wonderful wild child. He stood at stud for each year that he was available until maybe the last two years. And that takes a big chunk out of their lives in terms of training. But he was luckily at the state stud at Seller. And while he was there, he was ridden by Wolfhard Witter and he moved him on his way towards the higher level. He's now based with Katrin Burger in the south of Germany. And my goodness, she knows her way around both a young horse and a Grand Prix dressage arena and has competed successfully at PSG in Germany, uh, winning a PSG, and then we were very proud when he came second to some very big names in another test. So we're waiting for more results from his career competing in Germany, which of course, like everywhere with COVID, has been a bit skinny on the competition front. When you look at, at Wild Child, you have to see that great depth of performance and now this year in 2022, we've all been very excited by a new relative, half brother to the mother of Wild Child. Um, and that is the stallion for Kingdom, who has absolutely wowed them in his stallion test in Ferden. And he is out of Dornrushen by for emotion. So Wild Child is available this year with frozen semen. We don't have a great deal, but we do have some. And we've got pregnancies from last year, so we're very happy about that. But we also have other, I take this opportunity to say, we also have other frozen semen from Supertramp, from Clapton, and from Rockstar. And we had some happy breeders last year who've got pregnancies from those stallions. So do give me a call if you're interested in frozen semen and I can discuss Wild Child and the other stallions with you. But if you're interested in Wild Child, be quick because we don't have a huge amount of semen. Woodland of Wild Child, a packet of delight, super rideability, success in the sport, international provenance, fabulously outcrossed pedigree, which brings strength available for you in a frozen package. <laughs>